Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to create this. But before we dive in, this tutorial is proudly brought to you by QuickBooks, the business software that keeps your finances in perfect harmony, turns your financial dreams into reality, and offers financial freedom. Save 30% on QuickBooks for 6 months using a link in the description below. So, without wasting time, let's dive in. Open Adobe After Effects and create a new composition. Let's name it Animation. As usual, set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and the duration to 6 seconds. Grab the text tool and type any letter. In my case, I will use the letter V. Let's change the text color fill to white. You are free to use any font. Align the text to the center. Now, open the position parameters by pressing P on your keyboard. At the beginning of the timeline, add a position keyframe. Move two seconds forward and position the letter to the right, then add a keyframe. Move to the four second mark and copy and paste the first keyframe. When we play the sequence, we see that the animation moves from left to right and then back to the left. Head back to the beginning of the sequence. Hold Shift and press R to reveal the rotation parameter. Add a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Move to the fourth second and change the rotation value to two revolutions. This is what we have achieved until now, and it looks good. Now, let's take things to the next level. Highlight all the keyframes and apply Easy Ease by pressing F9 or going to the keyframe assistant and selecting Easy Ease. As you can see, the animation becomes smooth. Head over to the Effects and Presets panel and search for an effect called Echo. Apply the effect to the text layer. Change the echo time to minus 0.03 seconds and the number of echoes to 50. Now, let's get back to the letter character properties and change the fill to stroke. We now have this mesh-like structure. Let's duplicate the text layer by hitting Ctrl plus D. Change the character property of the duplicated text layer back to fill. Then, hide or delete the echo effect for the duplicated layer. When we play the sequence, we can see that the animation comes to life. To make things more colorful, head over to the effects and presets and search for the four color gradient effect. Apply it to the bottom text layer and repeat the same on the upper duplicated layer. Now we have this colorful animation. To make things even more interesting, Let's add a drop shadow effect to the upper duplicate layer. Change the distance to about 24 and the softness to around 91. This will create a realistic shadow. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Until next time. Adios.